G'day everyone. I'm really excited to, today to give you a step-by-step -step, uh, how to get a blue tick verified for both Instagram, Facebook, from any location. Uh, I was able to get my blue tick uh, from Meta verified today and we're going to run through all the processes and a couple secret uh, tips to to uh, get those uh, enabled from international locations. Okay, let's get started. Okay, as you can see here, uh, first uh, screen here, we've got a notification, uh, which I got earlier today, once uh, the Meta verified subscription was fully active. Uh, and after that, I was able to get a blue tick uh, on my account. Uh, you've probably seen this. This is the the basic requirements. Um, have a have a look at this before you uh, sign up. Uh, make sure you're covering all the uh, requirements. Um, doesn't matter if you've got public or private account. Uh, both are eligible. Uh, just not a business account. Okay, uh, one of the tricks we're using is uh, VPN. So for those uh, not in Australia or New Zealand, uh, which is where the initial rollout is, uh, you can use a VPN, um, but it doesn't solve the, the problem um, fully. Uh, I'll explain why and uh, the workarounds that we need to do to uh, get your location recorded as Australia or New Zealand. That way you qualify for the, the rollout. Okay, here's my Instagram. I've covered up uh, a bunch of the stuff. Um, first, first thing we're going to do is uh, click on the top uh, three uh, bars. Uh, next one we want is settings, security, login activity. That's going to bring up this screen. Now, if you do have a VPN, uh, I, I use NordVPN and that's how I was able to get the location of Sydney. Um, uh, and this will show your temporary location in, in Instagram. So this is important, um, but it, it's not everything to get uh, the account uh, active. Um, so we'll, we'll look at the next steps. Uh, so first first step uh, I would recommend is yet yeah, get on a VPN uh, get your uh, location uh, appearing as Australia uh, in that login activity screen uh, a good VPN I use uh, NordVPN um, link in the description um, otherwise yeah whichever favorite one you've got uh, I recommend using the Sydney servers uh, that's what worked for me uh, here's the uh, Meta verified waitlist for um, getting the blue check mark. Uh, you can, after you do your VPN, uh, I would fill in this form and I would select for the country uh, Australia as the country that you want to register. So, uh, yep. Uh, <coughs> Next thing to check is, okay, so we've got our temporary location sorted. We, we VPN'd, we're appearing as Australia, but uh, Instagram doesn't recognize our account location as, as Australia straight away. And we can check that. Uh, here we can go to settings again. Uh, and this time we're going to go to uh, which one is it? Account. And here we've got about your account. Uh, now some people will get this uh, in their menu, some people won't. Uh, so I'm going to show, this is the easy method uh, and there's a, a, a more difficult method, but everyone can get the location about their account, um, uh, which is where the account is based. Um, where Instagram thinks your account is based at that time. Uh, so yeah, if you're lucky to get uh, about your account, you can check it in your own Instagram uh, here and here we can get it to come up as Australia. So 
you will need some time on the VPN for it to change uh, to from where it's currently based uh, in your country uh, to Australia. Uh, okay, also, if that doesn't work, you can check your account from someone else's account. So if you get your friend to get on their Instagram and they can go to your Instagram account, they click the three dots at the top uh, right hand corner and then they may get the option here uh, about this account. Um, it seems, you know, I don't know, maybe 20% of accounts have this option. Uh, some business accounts, some not business accounts, some, uh, most, most of the blue tick ones that have got blue tick already will have this feature. Um, but don't, don't worry if, if these uh, methods uh, haven't worked so far, there is, a, there is another way for us to get the location uh, here, yeah, so here we're seeing we can uh, look at someone else's account and tell what, uh, where, which country they're based in. Okay, um, here's, here's the menu of uh, a phone that doesn't have that option. So we're going to look at the, the more difficult way to get the location. Um, when I say difficult, it's not difficult, it's just a little bit more time consuming. Uh, so here, um, Instagram, I've got some instructions on how to get the location. Uh, if uh, that the easy method isn't available. So basically, we click on our profile picture, go to your activity, download your information. So they'll do a full download of all the information that Instagram stores on you, including your location. Um, mine was was quite large um, and it came in two parts um, all the you know photos and bits and pieces uh, and in the second one there was a file that I was able to get the location from so here uh, this is what I did I did the download um, it says it'll take up to 30 days to collect this data and send it to you uh, mine was just uh, a couple hours and once I downloaded the data, I was able to get the account based in. Uh, I opened the zip file and found this, this file and I was able to see, okay, this is where Instagram thinks I'm, I'm based. So uh, once I had that, I was able to proceed to the next step. Um, here, uh, if you want it to happen faster, you can follow the um, tips here. Uh, so here they um, base it on your IP address. So with a VPN your IP address will be set to Australia and also activity. So location tags, photos, videos. So it, it may be that you can um, speed up the process of changing your uh, location by engaging with Instagram while you're VPN in and tagging uh, things in the in the location that you want to be okay uh, now now we've brought up my my Facebook and this was the trick I found today to get uh, the um, uh, meta verified uh, option to appear uh, I was using the Instagram app because that's where I, I want the blue tick but uh, I found that the Facebook app can do both uh, and the option appeared in the Facebook app and it wasn't appearing in the Instagram app yet so I'll show you that so first we're gonna click menu and then the settings gear and then account center so you can check this anytime uh, but I suggest doing it when you're on the VPN uh, that way all the traffic is showing to Meta that you're coming from Australia or New Zealand uh, so account center uh, so as I said this appears in Instagram app and also Facebook app uh, but uh, as of today uh, the 28th uh, only the Facebook app was appearing with the options to do Meta verified 
and here's that uh, option here. So my screen in Instagram didn't have this option at the bottom, but the Facebook one did. And uh, this was the, the first screen I saw. So uh, here, as of today, for my account, uh, I can verify the Facebook and get a blue tick. Um, I'm still pending on the Instagram. So Instagram are rolling it out in batches to different accounts but uh, I'm expecting in the next day or so that that should be ready to go for subscribing and uh, getting a blue tick for, for the second account. Um, yeah, it's important uh, all your information matches up. Uh, when you do get to this, you can you know, go through it thoroughly. Um, the important bits is your name must match your ID. Um, there were some questions on I've got a middle name, uh, but maybe my Instagram doesn't have my middle name. Do I need to use my middle name? Uh, so we'll get to that. Um, I've got a, I'll show you the, the clear and correct answer for that. Profile picture, yes, that's important. Um, and two-factor, so not, not everyone may be familiar with two-factor. It's a little bit technical, um, but it means that you've got your username, password, and also another um, password um, uh, mechanism to, to get in. Here in Australia, uh, um, they're charging $24.99 um, Australian dollars. Uh, so, um, yeah, I recommend having your payment methods set up before uh, you do this uh, while you're getting ready. Uh, so I just clicked Get Meta Verified. Um, confirm the payment. Uh, I used um, the payment that I had on the on the phone. Uh, already ready to go. Purchase. And now we're going through these uh, items to tick them off. Okay, first name, middle name, surname. So I've got all of those on my um, government ID. Uh, so in this screen, put put them in, and it it will update Facebook um, in the next screen, and this will answer the question about uh, middle name. Do we use it? Do we not need use it? Um, here, um, we can't see my my name, but it it gives you the option of first, middle, last, um, last, middle, first. Uh, or a different combination. It gives you three options. Uh, or, oh, sorry, the third option is first, last. So uh, I could just use my name, uh, first and last name. So it that was the way it will display. But when you verify it um, using your ID, use your exact name per your ID. Uh, this is that technical bit about the two-factor. Uh, it's maybe something you can read up a bit more on in your own time um, and perhaps do it before you get uh, meta verified uh, application. So uh, it's it's more of a seamless process. Um, but yeah, I, for me, I used a, a authenticator app called Google Authenticator. And um, there'll be a couple screens here. So here it had a code for me to put into the Authenticator app. I put that code in and then uh, the app gave me a code back to a uh, six digit code to give back to uh, the Facebook app. Uh, here is the, from the first screen, the, the code uh, and key uh, and yeah, different, different methods. Uh, including backup. So I do recommend having SMS backup or whichever method that you prefer to have a backup. Okay, um, passport, driver's license, national ID, state ID, whatever works for your... Um, here, the, it really is important to get a clear photo of your ID. Uh, I can't stress that enough. If you fail verification twice, uh, you may be on hold for up to uh, 60 days while they process a refund. So 
be very careful getting a clear photo and you can see using the photo app that they have um, that the text must be readable. If you can't read it on your screen, then it's likely that the person verifying won't be able to um, verify it. So um, make sure you get a good picture. Uh, I, I took mine probably 10 or, or 12 times to, to get a decent photo, um, making sure that I didn't, didn't want to fail verification. Um, here, yeah, as you can see here, it gives you the option. Uh, is this info readable? So you, you hit take photo and um, based on glare and um, everything else with your ID, make sure that uh, you can read it and don't, don't hesitate to take a few pictures to, to work out which lighting and uh, everything works best for, for your phone camera. Okay, after you do that, um, it goes into identity confirmation in review. Uh, this process took probably uh, just under one hour uh, while that happened. And then uh, we got, um, uh, yeah, this screen, we can see that uh, it's still pending. Um, same, same screen. Um, it says done with that in 40, 48 hours, but uh, like I said, for me, it happened uh, just under one hour. Okay, and then we got a notification on Facebook that uh, um, that our identity is verified, and then that's when the blue tick uh, appeared on, on the account. And yeah, as you can see here, we've got the blue tick uh, meta verified. Um, interestingly, even on the uh, Instagram app, it still doesn't have the option for the meta verified under the uh, account section. Uh, so yeah, we're just waiting patiently, um, making sure that uh, yeah, my location base is remaining in Australia. So for those international, um, recommend not using Instagram if you're not on VPN uh, until your location uh, changes. Um, and uh, like I said before about the, you've got the temporary location, which will show under the active login activity, um, but then you want to um, look at the about this account and uh, location uh, account based in and which location that uh, Instagram actually thinks that you're mainly based. And that's that's pretty much it for the, the process. Uh, what other suggestions do I have? Yeah, so um, if anyone has any questions, uh, jot jot some comments down, I'll try and have a look at those. Uh, also, um, try and get as much of this stuff um, pre-planned and done beforehand. So if you get your two-factor, it uh, can be a little bit complicated. Um, do some homework on that, read the instructions, uh, how to add that to your uh, Facebook or Instagram, um, making sure that, uh, yeah, the name on your account is correct. Uh, once you do subscribe, uh, you're not going to be able to change your name uh, easily. So make sure everything's yeah. Basically, just get all your ducks uh, lined up in a in a row. I uh, hope everyone's enjoyed this video. Uh, it's been a, a long day, and uh, this is my first time on on YouTube. So uh, yeah, thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoyed uh, the content. Bye.